let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch, a prison for your mind. <sighs> Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. Hey, YouTube world, harvest is plenty. You know, we live in a matrix reality. Everything that we see and that we believe is false. The matrix been this since the beginning. We were born into a fallen world that's ran by Lucifer, his fallen angels, and the human agents in their employ. But it's hard for people to believe that. We live in a world where people rely on their money. They rely on their college degrees. They rely on their own intellect. Whereas Jesus said to lean not on your own understanding, but to trust God for everything. People believe in the Democrat and Republican Party and think politicians are going to save them. But these same politicians are also part of the Luciferian system. And once you receive the saving grace of Christ and your spiritual eyes are open, now you can see and truth becomes your burden because you spend a lot of time trying to convince your family, your friends, your co-workers and everybody else of the truth that you see. But your truth is not their truth. Your salvation is not their salvation. They have to stand alone in front of Jesus Christ and make atonement and repent for their sins and ask him to give them eye salve so they can see and clothe them in white raiment. Guys, the days of grace are ending. There's a time clock on the restrainer. The restrainer will only restrain until he let it and then it'll be taken away so it's time to wake up and understand what's going on or you may just die in this matrix reality this false reality of artificial intelligence jesus is the true intelligent one lucifer he's artificial intelligence him and his matrix system like nutrasweet or aspartame, 
looks good, tastes good, but once you digest it, it's poison. So wake up, guys. I love you. Pray without ceasing. Till next time, God bless. <laughs> Hello. My name is Montague William III. And what I will tell you may well sound absurd, but the less who believe it, the better for me. For you see, I'm in banking and a big industry. For many a year we have controlled your lives, while you all just struggle and suffer in strife. We created the things that you don't really need, your, your sports cars and fashions and plasma TVs. I remember it clearly how all this begun. Family secrets from father to son, inherited knowledge that gives me the edge, while you peasant people lie sleeping at night in your bed. We control the money that controls your lives. Whilst you worship false idols and wouldn't think twice about selling your souls for a place in the sun, these things that won't matter when your time is done. But as long as they're there to control the masses, I just sit back and consider my assets, safe in the knowledge that I have it all, while you common people are losing your jobs. You see, I just hold you in utter contempt. But the smile on my face, well, it makes me exempt. For I have the weapon of global TV, which gives us connection and invites empathy. You would really believe that we look out for you while we bankers and brokers are only a few. But if you saw that, you'd take back the power. Hence, daily terrors to make you all cower. The panics, the crashes, the wars, and the illness that keep you from finding your spiritual wholeness. We rig the game, and we buy out both sides to keep you enslaved in your pitiful lives. So, go out and work as your body clock fades. And when it's all over, a few years from the grave, you'll look back on all this and just then you'll see that your life was nothing, a mere fantasy. There are very few things that we don't now control. To have lawyers and police force was always a goal, doing our bidding while you march on the street but they never realize that they're only just sheep. For real power resides in the hands of a few. <laughs> you voted for parties. <laughs> what more could you do? But what you don't know is they're one and the same. Old Gordon has passed good old David the reins. And you'll follow the leader who was put there by you. But your blood, it runs red, while our blood runs blue. But you simply don't see it's all part of the game. Another distraction, like money and fame. Get ready for wars in the name of the free. The assault on your children's impressionable minds and a microchipped world. You'll put up no fight. Information suppression will keep you in tow. Depopulation of peasants was always our goal. But eugenics was not what we hoped it would be. Oh, yes. It was us that funded Nazis. But as long as we own all the media, too, what's really happening does not concern you. So just go on watching your plasma TV and the world will be run by the ones you can't see.